हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ मी जसनीत कौर वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टूडेज वीडियो वुड बी अबाउट चैप्टर फिफ्थ ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ विच इज फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बिफोर डिस्कसिंग टूडेज टॉपिक प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट प्रेस दी बेल आइकन टेल नाउ प्लीज डू इट सो दैट यू गेट दी नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई नेक्स्ट अपलोड्स let's begin with understanding the learning objectives of this chapter so once this chapter will be done you will be able to understand the meaning of food processing and technology its history development and present status significance and basic concepts skills required to become professional food technologist educational qualification required and career opportunities as well as scope of self employment Let's begin with understanding the meaning of food processing and technology first. Talking about food processing, it is a process where raw food stuffs are made suitable for consumption, cooking and storage. For doing this, physical, chemical or microbiological methods as well as techniques are used. The major purpose of passing these food stuffs through these processes is to avoid or reduce the amount of spoilage there are certain nutrients which are more stable and unstable in certain kind of environments passing food stuffs through these certain processes enhances the shell life of these nutrients to understand the concept of water soluble and fat soluble you can refer this image there are a lot of other reasons that why foods are being processed the primary reason is to make foods edible and secondary reason is to turn food ingredients into familiar foods such as bread apart from increasing the shelf life of the food items the pro food processing is done on the raw food stuff to meet the requirement and demands of the consumer apart from these reasons the other reasons of food processing is to make food safer for the consumption making it available throughout the year as well as to improve its taste some of the examples of processed food can be taken as frozen foods baked goods including pizza cakes and pastries packaged breads processed cheese products and breakfast cereals crackers chips candies and ice creams instant noodles and soups reconstituted meats such as sausages nuggets fish fingers and processed ham sodas and other sweetened drinks with this let's move to the significance of food processing now food processing industry or fpi has huge significance in connecting two pillars of economy that is agriculture and industry Besides other developments globalization have increased the demands for various types of products making the research for new technologies necessary on 14th January 2010 government of india announced the setting up of mega food processing parks to boost the food processing industry in india by 30th june 2017 there were 9 mega food parks which were very much functional the major purpose of that was to improve the nutritional value of our staple food as we all know that most of the cereals are deficient in certain nutrients leading to deficiency or diseases therefore food fortification is done by adding nutrient that is lacking in food stuffs or condiments to ensure the minimum dietary requirement are met some examples are iodized salt folic acid added to flour and vitamin a to oils there are certain basic concepts in which we will talk about certain basic terms like food science food processing food technology and food manufacturing let's understand their meanings food science is that field which includes the understanding of other science related fields the purpose of doing the study of this field helps us in understanding composition of foods changes occurring during various stages of harvest processing and storage causes of food spoilage and the principles of food processing 
moving on to next term that is food processing this is something which we have already discussed in the beginning of the video but still we will cover it food processing is a branch of manufacturing in which raw materials are transformed into intermediate food stuffs or edible products edible means which you can consume through the application of scientific knowledge and technology this is we have already covered so let's move on to the next term food technology now it, this is the field which deals with the socio economic knowledge as well as legalities for production of different type of food products moving on to next term which is food manufacturing this term talk about the manufacturing of food keeping all the principles of food technology in mind to meet the diverse needs of growing population so this is it for today everyone students for your understanding i have given one question which you are supposed to do it as a home task if you come across any confusion any doubt feel free to ask me during online classes or you can mention your queries in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos i will see you soon with my next video till then bye bye and take care